15 Myths About Reptiles Thank you, James Baker, for leaving us your suggestion on our Smartest Animals video. We're going to give you more than just 10, just because we love our fans that much. Number 15. Carnivores? Many people believe that all reptiles are carnivorous creatures that only feast on other animals like insects, flies, etc. But many species of lizards only consume plant matter. This includes fruits, flowers, leaves, and only occasionally eat other plants or small animals. Some lizards will in fact eat other lizards, and reptiles will eat other reptiles. Like this snake eating a crocodile. Carnivorous reptiles cannot be made into vegetarians, and you shouldn't feed reptiles that are vegetarian, insects, or other animals. This will lead to serious injury or even death. Number 14. Snakes don't have bones? This myth is entirely false, and all snakes have bones. This includes a skull, jawbone, backbones, and a ton of ribs. Extremely large pythons, anacondas, and boas actually have more ribs than you have bones in your body. Some can have 3 to 400 bones, and don't forget about the ones after a recently swallowed meal. The large number of bones is what makes them flexible and protects their internal organs. The strong bones will also lead to a strong stomach, which will stretch depending on the prey. Number 13. Vegetarian Snakes? In case anyone has tried convincing you that some snakes are vegetarian, most likely your friend who works with PETA, just know that this is completely false as well. All snakes are carnivorous and diets depend on the species. They might eat things like invertebrates, amphibians, birds, your pet cat, rodents, your annoying little brother, and are even known to cannibalize each other. So again, don't try converting your pet snake into a vegetarian. It simply won't work and it'll hate you for it. Number 12. Live prey only? Of course, while in the wild, snakes will hunt their own prey. It's perfectly natural and it comes as an instinct. But snakes in captivity don't actually need to kill their prey in order to eat it. The safer and more humane way to feed your snake is by feeding it pre-killed rodents. Most people still feed their snake live prey and find it to be unnatural to feed it one that's been pre-killed. Holding a snake in captivity is also unnatural and many snakes can be injured from attacking its live prey as well. The snake might even still perform the kill maneuvers and not even know the rodent isn't alive. It's considered more humane for both animals, but probably less entertaining. Number 11. Ninja Turtles Don't Exist After seeing the cartoon, many people hope that somewhere out there, Ninja Turtles could be real. It's tough to break the news, but the show is completely fictional. During the time the show was popular during the 1990s, many kids demanded that their parents buy them a turtle, and this actually negatively affected the population of water turtles across the world. So if you buy a turtle, keep in mind that it's not going to turn into a real human-sized turtle someday in the future. They also can't survive on pizza from the trash can. Number 10. Shell Scratching Some people might believe that this doesn't hurt the turtle to scratch the shell or carve a name into it. This also isn't true. Humans can decide for themselves if they want to get a tattoo and not forcibly apply it to their pet turtles. The shells are in fact made of living tissue like bones, blood, and skin. So when you cut into them, it hurts. If you accidentally cut too deep into the tortoise's shell, this could leave them with an infection that may result in death. Don't tattoo your turtle. Something like this is absolutely uncalled for. Just leave it alone. All lizards have legs? You don't need to have legs in order to be a lizard. There are quite a few different species of lizards who don't, such as the European legless lizard, California legless lizard, and Eastern glass snake. So if it doesn't have legs, why isn't it a snake? Good question. The main difference is because legless lizards have eyelids. Snakes, on the other hand, do not. Here in these photos, you can tell the slight difference between a snake and a legless lizard. Close, but not the same. Legless lizards also have ear holes, also prefer much smaller prey, and eat things like beetles, grasshoppers, snails, and spiders. They don't have similarities in their jaw structure and can't unlock their jaws like snakes. Number 8. Snake Tail Stinger? There's a myth about some snakes having stingers on their tails, similar to scorpions. This is also false. Although some do have hardened skin at the end of their tail tip, this could just be due to a different variety of reasons. The end of the tail tends to harden in some cases due to prolonged burrowing or pushing it often off the ground in order to make it move faster. The rattle at the end of the snake makes it look like a stinger, but this is just used to make the frightening rattling noise and not to sting anyone. Don't worry, there's not a snake-scorpion hybrid out there somewhere. Or is there? Number 7. Hypnotizing Stare? 
Many are troubled by snakes, not just because they're slimy and creepy, but also because they're worried about being hypnotized with their beady little eyes. The truth is, snakes can barely see you, let alone hypnotize you. The reason their eyes are always open and they don't blink is simply because they lack eyelids. This is also how they can literally sleep with their eyes open. They can normally only track the presence and movement of other animals by their heat and heartbeat. Number 6. Color Changing Many people might believe that chameleons actually change their color in order to camouflage more effectively. This is surprisingly also false. They in fact change their color on a variety of different factors, such as responses to mood, temperature, communication, and light. For example, if they're hot, they might change to a different color, which will reflect the sun better in order to help them stay cool. The panther chameleon will change color to red or yellow before they're about to attack. Other males hope some bright colors will help them attract a fine lady lizard and begin the mating ritual. Some people who own these lizards will know when their pet is feeling sick or not by looking at his coloration. Number 5. Snakes don't have legs? Guess what? They sort of do. Primitive snakes such as boa constrictors and pythons contain a few remnants of their ancient ancestors that may shock you. Snakes still have femur bones with claw-like legs hidden beneath their skin. Male snakes actually still use these vestigial organs during courtship or during fights, but not actually to help them move on the ground. Number 4. Alligators aren't good climbers? This myth is also false, and thanks to their sharp claws, alligators are indeed good climbers. So you really don't want to hide in a tree if you're running from one. Although alligators don't really pursue humans, if you get too close to the mama gator's nest, she might chase you down. Their strong tails can help push them up, and especially young alligators have been known to actually climb over fences, so watch out. Number 3. Feeding Turtles Some unfortunately believe that feeding a turtle or a tortoise just a piece of lettuce a day is acceptable. If you do this, you're probably going to starve it. They enjoy a wide variety of vegetables, grass, hay, and even seaweed. Some underwater turtles are carnivores and need to eat some type of meat like fish, snails, crustaceans, slugs, and worms. Number 2. Crocs vs Gators Many believe that since alligators and crocodiles look similar, that they're basically the same type of animal. But this is actually quite false for a number of reasons. Alligators have wider U-shaped snouts, while the crocs have more V-shaped snouts. Crocs also tend to live closer to saltwater habitats, where our alligators prefer freshwater places like marshes and lakes. Either way, you're probably going to freak out if you see one. Number 1. Reptiles make great pets for kids? Reptiles are cool, no doubt, and the cooler it is, the more it's probably going to cost you. There's no such thing as a domesticated reptile, and they're basically wild creatures, which is why people want them. But the reptiles really don't need you as much as you might want to think. Unlike a domesticated dog, a snake or lizard could probably run away and be just fine depending on the environment. Owning certain reptiles requires special heating lamps, careful feeding, and it's not always as simple as it might seem. There's a lot of special treatment you might have to give these complex creatures, and it's not always something a kid is ready to handle. People who buy and sell them often don't realize how to handle them correctly. Many of them are actually smuggled from Central or South America. And if the snake is big enough, it might even try to eat your kid. Any suggestions on future videos? Leave us your idea in the comments section, and maybe we'll feature it in an upcoming video.